Hi, this is Kat Dillon, and today we're going to be doing some roasted zucchini, red potatoes, and squash. We're going to start with the zucchini. I'm going to put this in a smaller bowl. And I'm going to give it some butter here. I've got some clarified butter, grass-fed butter. And I'm just going to pour, there's probably two zucchinis here. I'm just going to give it a couple teaspoons of, of the butter. And I'll go ahead and just put the butter in with the rest of the vegetables as well. One thing about these red potatoes, as, a, as opposed to regular potatoes, is they are lower in glycemic index. So your blood sugar actually raises a little bit slower eating those as opposed to uh, regular potatoes. Another interesting thing about the potato is that if you chill it overnight for 24 hours, that also lowers the glycemic index. Uh, fat and also vinegar lower the glycemic index of these red potatoes, or any potatoes for that matter. So we've got the fat in there. Now I'm just going to season them with salt and pepper. Little bit here. And you always want to get each side of the vegetable coated with the fat so you get a nice even browning. So let's go ahead and put the, vet, the herbs in. So I've got my fresh basil in here. And keep a little bit of the fresh herbs for after, after you finish roasting. That way you'll get a nice little fresh kick, fresh element. And I'm going to put in some of my rosemary. I'm going to keep them separate here just for ease of uh, just for space ease here. And my parsley. And there I go. Now I'm going to separate these because the zucchini are going to take very little time. And these harder vegetables are going to take a lot more time. So we're going to put them on just separate sheet trays. So I've got my smaller sheet tray here, making sure that you have even space between all the vegetables so they don't uh, start steaming instead of cooking and browning. So here I've got my potatoes on one side and on the other side, making sure I blend this nicely, I've got my kabocha squash. Kabocha squash is a Japanese squash that is absolutely to die for. You should use it as much as you can. All right, so we've got this all evenly spaced and we're ready to go and place this in the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and put these right into the oven at 400 degrees, again a higher temperature for nice even browning. Set your timer for 20 minutes, give them a little turn, turn your sheet tray, maybe toss your vegetables around for even browning, and then another 20 minutes and you should be done. Always test. And here we have our completed dish, roasted potatoes, squash, and zucchini. Mm -hmm.